So now that we've introduced the dot product on vectors in Rn, we can use this to determine whether or not any vector is parallel or perpendicular to another vector. So in at this problem, we want to determine whether or not any one of these vectors is parallel or perpendicular to the other two, where the vectors in question are v1, which is 1, comma, minus 1, v2 is minus 3, comma, 3, and then v3 is pi, comma, pi. So right off the bat, we can see that v1 and v2 are scalar multiples of each other and are, in fact, related by uh, v2 is minus 3 times v1. And then we can then similarly see that v1 is not a scalar multiple of v3, so that those two are not parallel. So now we want to see if any of the vectors are perpendicular to each other. So we test, say, v1 and v3. Since, since we know v1 and v2 are parallel, we know that they're not perpendicular. So we can throw that one out right away. So we test v1 dot v3. And in fact, we see that this is just pi minus pi, which is going to be equal to 0. So that means that v1 is perpendicular to v3. And since v2 is a scalar multiple of v1, and you can pull out scalar multiplication in dot products, we see that this also implies that v2 is perpendicular to v3 as well. Writing it out explicitly, v2 dot v3 is equal to minus 3 times v1 dot v3, which is equal to 0. So in conclusion, we have that v1 is parallel to v2, and v3 is perpendicular to v1 and v2. And that's it.